All right, so you're still doing your homework, still wanting to get an idea, kind of a rough idea what everything looks like. We showed you around east, around west, kind of showed you how to get around. So we're going to be jumping back into it. We're going to show you kind of what it looks like down south. This is going to be kind of a just a general video. This isn't all encompassing. We don't have that kind of time. So another long one. Grab the snacks, grab the drinks, because we're getting after it right now. So we're jumping straight into it. We're over at Harry and Hillside. Just turned right. We'll have uh, Ascension Via Christi over here on the left. Plenty of different chain uh, restaurants. McDonald's, New Way, Spangles, Wendy's, Taco Bell, what have you. Along this stretch here, mainly going to be businesses. I mean, we got some houses some houses sprinkled around you know both both uh north and south of uh oliver tillies and uh we got a nice little strip mall strip mall over here nice little faux uh re restaurant shanghai wsu's got their tech and their shocker studio over here Firestone, Capital Federal, some Comcare, some city services, what have you. Nice, another another little strip mall over here, Little Caesars, uh, Lucky's Vape Shop, some different kind of businesses. We got a Genesis Health Club over here on the right. <clears throat> some more fast food chains. Some. It's kind of smack dab over here on the right. Nice little golf course. So if you're a fan of golf, if you're a fan of disc golf as well. So we're approaching Harry and Oliver. Over here to the left. Have a couple different options, pawn shops, some jewelry store, uh, jewelry store, what have you. There's some businesses kind of up along Oliver both north and south we're gonna head south quick trip over here at the corner you come in here you need a solid gas station quick trips number one <clears throat> and this golf course just takes up quite a bit of quite a bit of real estate got uh, a a little, uh, little blend here, some apartments, homes, what have you. And in the golf course, pretty much, is going to back up to Meadow over here. We are just passing. All right, so now we're hitting... Mount Vernon, American Muffler over here on the left, Auto Shop, and then like I said, kind of back to, there's going to be some older style homes, there's another apartment complex over here on the left, we had a, over here at this Mars Mart, it used to be a Sonic, we used to come over here quite frequently. Like I said, now, now it's um, like a little mini mark. We got some more apartments, some housing, homes, smoke shop, little pool hall, liquor store, another pawn shop, select motors, pawn shop, collision center. Over here on the left, we used to have uh, Thunderbird Bowls. Some other little kind of miscellaneous shops, some smoke shops, some pawn shops. We're heading towards uh, another entrance into McConnell Air Force Base. We've got some other miscellaneous shops along this little strip here. Uh, the Department for Child and Families over on the right. We're over, over by the base. You're going to see the turnpike right above us. We're going to hang a left. Nice little park on over that way to the right. 
So we're gonna kind of show you because we had shown you kind of a little bit in the east uh, east side video of McConnell. This is kind of a the uh, another entrance. <clears throat> show you kind of what they got over here. Of course, Textron's got their activity center over here on the left. Gupton's over here on the right. You need some. You want a a new pet, puppy, what have you supplies now over here to the left is going to be the entrance to mcconnell air force base you're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of apartment uh, options over here on the right and we're just going to kind of take the curve and like i said in that previous video they just it's so much real estate it's crazy but you're gonna have a lot of different apartment options over here on the right. Uh, you take a right over here on New Jersey, you're gonna find some duplex options, some single family options. You've got a storage place. Yeah, McConnell keeps going. Some more apartment options. Now, straight ahead, <clears throat> I might be getting just a tad bit ahead of myself. Give us just one moment. All right, so straight ahead, as we get to this stop sign, is the Kansas Aviation Museum. Kind of show you some of the history around here. Uh, we actually just went to an event over there, this String Quartet Orchestra. It was, it was a pretty nice little event. Super cool place. Only been there a handful of times, but it's certainly something to check out if you're here. Now we're turning on, we're making our way back to Oliver. You're gonna see duplexes, some single family homes. And we're over here, we wanna show off some of the major, major stuff on the south side, as you see off in the distance beyond the trees, Spirit Aero Systems, the largest employer in the area. We're gonna hang a left over here at Oliver. You'll see off in the distance uh, a training uh, facility for our fire, local firefighters, what have you. Casey's Bar and Grill had quite a few fun times at that place. Nice little watering hole. <clears throat> now, this is this is all spirit, just pretty much. And uh, just like uh, just like Textron Aviation, they just. Just like McConnell, they take up quite a bit of real estate. You want to know where this kind of stuff's at. To the left, to the right. Just showing off just a little bit. It's really just kind of a drop in the bucket, to be honest. But we're making our way up here to this light. This light's going to be MacArthur. Yeah, they, they host a lot of different events over this way. Now that I'm thinking about it, McConnell Air Force holds um, some air shows. We've watched plenty, plenty of times. They'll get they'll get the fighter jets out. They'll do some air shows. It's really fun. Nice little event. Just uh, you know, pop the tailgate on your truck, sit on the sit on the tail bed, couple cold drinks. Yeah, the Blue Angels. Look that up. And they're here. So, so we're we're making our way up to MacArthur. I mean, we could keep going south, but it's still it's just kind of same old, same old. Kind of got a, a, an idea of some of that. And this is still here. This is still Spirit. So, I mean, just kind of giving you an idea just how massive how massive that uh that real estate is so we're going to make our way past k15 k15 will be the third light up this way kind of got to watch out for traffic coming back and forth you'll get forklifts and and people kind of passing <clears throat> passing from the various uh sectors of spirit we 
kind of want to show off some of the some of these other amenities we'll kind of show you real briefly as we cross k15 some of the other stuff and i mean for the south side in particular you know the drive-in you know how many how many of those are left several several times being a teenager going out there to the drive-in dropping the top on the car and, and just watching some some silly movies with uh with friends and family and what have you <clears throat> but yeah over here from k15 you can make your way south make your way north south will take you straight into derby north will take you up to 135 what have you we got the good old club rodeo on the right get them boots on saturday nights are a hoot crossing the railroad tracks we have some mobile home options over off to the left uh inglewood making our way kind of show off a little bit of the river and as we're making our way around th things at least over in this particular area are pretty spread out in this little pocket here so as we as we head under this bridge off to the right you'll have Chapin Dog Park it actually used to be a landfill they repurposed it into a park you got AC plane options flying your planes plane flying your drones we got the Emory Park the BMX track over to the left <clears throat> over here in this particular pocket you got Stone Gate and land so we have stone gate on the left and lamp light on the right some trailer or mobile home parks we're pushing up here so over here on the right we'll have skate south you want to do a little bit of skating and then right over here on the right you'll find the starlight drive-in we actually have a drive-in i can tell you several different times uh, back when we were teenagers dropping the top watching movies real good time so we're over here at hydraulic MacArthur and hydraulic we're gonna hang a left we're gonna head on down to 47th kind of show you some of the amenities over there liquor store over on the left and you'll have some residential kind of here on MacArthur. That'll kind of lead you towards some of the various uh, salvage yards, stuff like that. Over to the right, you'll have maybe a block or two away you'll have access to 135 230 or 135 north and south and that'll take you over to 235 that'll take you to the turnpike it'll also take you over to 47th church over on the left so we're as we're coming down here you're gonna have kind of a mix of residential on the right you're gonna have some more mobile homes over here on the left just past this mobile home, you'll have Emory Gardens, some apartment options. So there's a nice little blend for everybody. Another small little church, some more houses on the right. Like I said, we're heading down to 47th where we'll make a right. Now, if we head straight down hydraulic here, just as far as you can go it's going to be a little more rural more residential you're not going to find any businesses there are ways of getting over to derby there's ways of getting over to hayesville and if you head 
if you head down far south enough, you'll have ways of getting over to Mulvane and Bel Air as well. Or not Bel Air, excuse me, Bel Plain. My bad. We got some more residential. We got a transmission shop over here on the right at the light. Now over here on the left, used to be a quick trip. They upgraded. Quick trip is now over here on the right. Now we're on 47th. We're heading west. Now over here, you're going to find some businesses, truck, uh, truck with trucks. You'll find some hotels kind of tucked back because we're right over here by the turnpike. So you're going to find over on the left, kind of tucked back, a number of hotels. There's going to be some food options past this light up here. We're going to jump on 135 to, and take 235 over to Seneca. So just behind, beyond this light here, there'll be some fast food options, a couple sit-down places, Verizon, what have you. We'll end up making our way over there shortly. We kind of want to show you some of the options over, over off of Seneca as well. So we're on 135, we are heading over, we're going to turn on to 235, kind of show you some, some of these other amenities over here. We've got a, a Walmart pretty close, a Dillon's, that's going to be Kroger, and we'll have some more options we'll show you shortly. Now the speed limit over here is 65, so as long as, you know, weather's fine, traffic's moving, no wrecks, you can get just about anywhere pretty quick. 235, as you know, wraps around the city, so we can get, get where we need to be fairly quick. So as we're hopping over in this right lane, there'll be some, uh, you'll have, we'll be passing Wichita High School South. The water treatment plant's not too far from where we're at as well, so. Over to the left here. It's where Blastoff Bay used to be. Here's uh, Wichita High School South right there. You want to continue down 235, that'll take you out west where we're at, but we're getting off right here on Seneca. We'll be hanging right. So as we jump over here on off on Seneca, I'll kind of show you some more shopping options, grocery, some fast food, what have you, some more residential. Got the Kansas National Guard over here on the left. So we're turning down here. This is the football field for South High on the right. As you see, we got some residential. We're coming into some residential both on the left and the right. You're going to have a number of different auto places over here on the left. Um, an upholstery shop, battery place, Bill's American Muffler. get down here a little bit closer there we go the upholstery shop the battery battery place and Bill's American muffler over here on the left we got Dylan's over here on the left so there's also a neighborhood Walmart so I mean you got some good grocery options here can't forget the quick trip over here on the right Walgreens, Bank of America, you're going to have Fidelity, Entrust. you got a little strip mall over here with, with a couple different options. Some rent-to-own places, a couple food places, Planet Fitness. we got a couple different uh, 
car repair, uh, car auto places, some mechanic shops, excuse me. Just a number of different services, a couple different phone providers, a little further down. Nice little barbecue place over here on the right. Just kind of showing you. There's some more residential. And we're just kind of showing off some of these other. We got an Aldi's over on the right. That's a nice little grocery place if you're looking for something other than a Kroger or a Walmart. And there's a number of different fast food places down this way as well. You'll you'll find an apartment complex. Nice little strip over here. Liquor store. Papa Murphy's. Massage parlor. There's a nail place. Find West Street Burgers is pretty good. Wingstop. And then we got the chain restaurants. Papa Papa John's, Starbucks, Wendy's, Chipotle, McDonald's further down. Got a nice little strip mall over here. There's a really nice little um, uh, Hispanic grocery store. Taco Bell, t some title shops, various phone, uh, phone companies as well. So we're going to hang a right over here. You're going to have more kind of restaurants out that way. If we were to take a left, you're going to have a residential. It'll kind of head into some businesses, some industrial, what have you. All right, so we're making our way towards the river. Uh, here, up here at the light is McLean. We got some residential. Watson Park's going to be off here to the right. Nice little place. They do they do some events at. Going over the river. River's looking just a tad bit low. There's times you see that sand, that little sand bank there would be, you know, covered with water as well. We've got some houses over on the left. We're making our way over to Pawnee and Broadway. We've got some houses over here. More houses on the left. Right, <clears throat> right on over here, you'll have uh, apartments on the left. Now there's a nice little disc golf park over here. And on the right, and just further, a little bit closer to the light, we'll have one of our um, substations for Wichita PD as well. Now, as we get to Kellogg, we're going to, not Kellogg, excuse me, Broadway, we're going to hang a right. You're not going to find, there's going to be no shortage of car lots. You need to buy a car, there's cars all up and down Broadway, north, south. But we're going to head south. Now over here we got an, a, a number of different businesses as well. Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, we got a Great Wall for some Chinese food. There's Walmart. I believe there's a Dollar General over here. Over on the right, like I said, what, substation, Dollar Dollar General, some other various little businesses here and there, GameStop. And like I said, there's no shortage of car lots over, uh, up and down Broadway. You're getting ready to find out as we cross the bridge. Some more apartment options over here on the left. Um, even back behind Walmart themselves, there is a bunch of different apartments, just a, a ton. But we're crossing the bridge now, crossing over the river again. So as we cross this bridge, just giving you a heads up, it's going to be mainly car lots, auto shops, mainly just car stuff. You know, like I said, to the left, to the right, we got a lot of auto shops. We got some mechanic shops, oil, some salvage yard. There's a salvage yard off in the distance. We've got a place over here on the left here if you want to buy a mobile home we're making our way towards 31st again if we were to head head right that would take us back to Seneca A little in over on the left so 
So it's mainly going to be, like I said, just car lots, auto places. There's a couple salvage yards over this way as well. But we're making our way down south. We'll be going over another bridge. You'll kind of see some more, some more of the sights, some decent views. Kind of turns over here to the right. Uh, salvage yard. You'll see water over here to the right. And we're making our way around the curve. No shortage of, of car, car associated uh, businesses, salvage yards, storage lots, what have you. We're heading back to 47th. Wichita Auto Auction over here on the left. There's a body shop. Title owned place, Bosley's wheel and tire. Small little auto auto lot there. So we're over at MacArthur and Broadway. You'll have pretty close access to 235 if we were to take a right here. Another auto lot over here on the left. Air conditioning over on the right. Some other various little small businesses over on the left. Some car lots. Heading on over. So, some more car lots. You'll find some kind of motel. Motel options as well. Fire station over here on the left. Motel. Another motel. Hey, another motel. Another car lot. Now you'll have an, um, an old Riley's over up here on the right. After this car lot here. There's some storage units on the left, O'Reilly's. There's the Dillons I was talking about. Over at, uh, we are approaching 47th Broadway. Over here at the left, you got an Applebee's. They've got a Dillons. You're going to have all of your fast food uh, chain restaurants Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, what have you. Emprise Bank. Club Car Wash over here. There's a Carlos O'Kelly's on the left. There's a, a number of different little small businesses. Some pawn shops over here on the left. Pepsi, their plant is over here on the right. You got a Goodwill. And some various little sh shops over here. Um, Credit Union. We're going to make our way down to 63rd. We've got a church over here on the left. We're making our way down. we got some more mobile homes over to the right. AutoZone. This next light will be 55th and Broadway. We'll have residential housing on the right some storage, some private storage on the left. You'll have a, I believe it's a Pep Boys over here on the left, across the street from a Walgreens. 
There's also a quick trip across the street from Walgreens. More residential to the right, to the left. CBD shop. We just passed 55th. We are heading down to 63rd. And as we're making our way down, like I said, it's going to it'll slowly start turning more residential it's more car lots what have you some storage units just kind of showing you a little bit of a little bit of everything when it comes well not quite everything but some of the various streets 31st 47th, 55th, 63rd. Some of your options along Harry, some of your options along Seneca, a little bit along Pawnee. You're going to find a lot, uh, when it comes to the south side in particular, there's quite a bit of the aviation companies down south, Spirit Aerosystems, Textron has a number of, of their plans as well. If we were to head straight uh, keep heading south, we would head into Hayesville. So we're kind of bordering at the, the edge of Wichita into Hayesville. Now on over here, some of this land over here on the right, I believe it is privately owned. I want to say it's WSU. We got some Excavating companies are on the left, sorry. We're going to go under the turnpike here. You'll see some pretty nice views coming down 63rd here. I mean, really, you're, you're really at, kind of at the edge of Wichita for the most part. But we're going under the turnpike now. Some private uh, driveways here. You'll have patio homes over here on the left. Nice little lake in the back. But like I said, guys, this is just kind of a drop in the bucket. We'd be here all day if we were showing everything, every last little thing. We get back here to some of these spots. It's going to mainly be residential. It's going to be land, what have you. Um, over here at the at the light you're gonna find a um, nice little golf course and if you like to play golf several different options so we're over at 63rd and hydraulic now we're heading towards K15 and that will take us as we head that way into Derby some housing options over here on the left But like I was saying, this is really just kind of a drop in the bucket with this one, with all of those driving vlogs. There's so much more here. We're providing you with an idea. There's still plenty enough to experience for yourself. And with the tools we're giving you, plenty, plenty of resources here to make an informed decision. We're trying to give you that comprehensive list. We're trying to give you the information. We're trying to give you the tools to make that informed decision. But anyways, let me know South, South Wichita, at least what we've showed you. Yay, nay. Throw me two or three things you like, you dislike. You might be surprised what we find. If you got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, DM, however you need to reach out. Reach out to get that question answered. I'm talking to people each and every day, and I love it. I love helping people, but I can't help you if you don't reach out. Now, if you got any value out of this, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe. Maybe this is for someone, someone else. Maybe this isn't for you. That's fine. Send it out to your buddies that need help. Maybe it's a family member looking to come here. 
But anyways, shills aside, guys, I appreciate you sticking around and watching. And we'll catch you in the next one.